Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I'm so excited. This is stuff that I've been saving for a while now. For those of you who don't know, I am pregnant and I've spent the last few months in bed not feeling good, not having energy, and so a lot of this stuff was before when I felt good and it's just kind of been stuff that I've been collecting and then um, a few new things so don't think that this is all old old stuff but anyways let's get right to it I bought a few headbands I really like headbands they're really great for people who dye their hair and when their roots are showing right now it's not too bad but when I let my roots show a little too much, but I don't want to show them, just put on a headband, you're good to go. <laughs> so I found some new cute ones, so I picked them up. There is this head wrap. It is like a cloth headband with a little bow on it. It's purple and black plaid. And then I found this pack of two headbands. They're kind of like the braided headbands. This one has pink and blue braided fabric. And then this one is just the blue braid. And then this one I could not pass up because it's so Chelsea. I found this fashion sequin wrap and it's just got the elastic on the back and then the jeweled part that'll probably be off centered on the side of your head so pretty love anything glittery or blingy or anything like that so that was perfect and then it is winter time and you gotta stay warm and i love these things i got two of these what are they snugadoo two super soft socks and they've got the little rubber grips on the bottom. I got the pink, white, and purple, and the blue, white, and light blue. And let me tell you something, I I love these like fuzzy, furry socks. I wear them all the time. And I have a bunch of them, and I have one from last year at the Dollar Tree, and I like the Dollar Tree one the best. Out of all of the socks like this that I have that I probably spent well more than a dollar for, I like the Dollar Tree ones. They hold up, you can wash them, and they're the softest. And that's why I like them because they are truly the softest socks that I have. So great deal for a dollar. Do you guys hear that music? I don't know what you can hear. I've got a dog next, I live in apartments and I've got a dog next door that has separation anxiety. Do you hear the dog barking? <laughs> Their owners are gone right now. Of course when I decide to film their owners leave and so the dog just barks nonstop. And then the apartment after that, um, there are a couple of guys, they produce music and so they've always got the music just blaring. So I've got a dog barking, music blaring. Could it have been a worse time to film? I don't know, but I'm filming. So I'm sorry if that is all distracting. It's a little distracting for me, but we're gonna push through and we're gonna do this. We're gonna film this video. All right, I picked up this travel kit of this Yes to Carrots shampoo and conditioner. I'm curious to see how this stuff smells because carrots are, I, mean, I guess carrots don't really have much of a smell to them, but I'm hoping these smell better than carrots smell, but this brand is supposed to be really good, so I thought I would give it a try. And what better thing to throw into your travel bag? So there you go. This is a repurchase for me. I bought this <clears throat> excuse me, about mm, five or six months ago. This is the Via Natural Ultra Care Argan Oil. One of my subscribers um, told me 
how they used this and I thought it was brilliant. You put your conditioner in your palm and then you squirt some of this in with your conditioner and then put it in your hair. Loved it. It was great. It worked amazing. So I needed another bottle of that. I got two of the adult coloring books. These are going to be gifts this Christmas that I give away. I got the patterns and I got the nature. And I must say, these books are a lot thinner than I imagined. I mean, I don't know what I imagined with them being from the Dollar Tree, but they are a lot thinner than I thought they would be. But they're still great coloring pages for those who like to sit in color and these adult coloring books are super popular right now so I thought I would pick them up because you know it's a dollar and that's a good deal let me show some of these nature pages Ooh, what is that oh, I thought those were fish <laughs> but I guess they're just all flowers Ooh. Those are really cool. I picked up a couple of dog essentials. Of course, I always get my waste bags from the Dollar Tree because I don't know why you'd spend more than a dollar on poop bags. And then I also picked up a dog toy. I don't know why. My dog doesn't really play with toys. He plays with balls and he plays with plays with a stuffed dog that he has that is what we call his girlfriend um, but he doesn't really play with stuff like this and I, so I don't know why I bought it I think I bought it because it's a uh, baseball and we really like baseball in this family and also when he was a puppy he did have a toy like this that he really liked so I I feel like if I bought this it would kind of bring back that puppiness that I I have no idea why I got this. <laughs> we'll see if he'll play with it. Here, Buzz, you wanna play with this? Will you play with this? Ready? One, two, three. Maybe? Nope, not so much. That's what I thought. And then some human essentials. <laughs> I got some toothpaste. I got the Crest Cavity. What is this? The Crest Cavity Protection. This is the 58% more free. So this is the 4.6 ounce. And I did have a dollar off coupon for a Crest product. So that made this completely free. And then we also needed some new toothbrushes. And I bought these on separate trips. I first bought this one pack Colgate toothbrush. And then on a separate trip, I found that Colgate had a three pack. So why would you buy one when you can get three for the same price? I don't know. I don't know why I bought this one. But three is a great deal for a dollar, especially for a name brand like Colgate. So we always get our toothbrushes at the Dollar Tree. And then I got some nail items. I found this this is one of the things that I bought before I got pregnant, but just kind of stored away for a while. This is the Revlon Nail Art. It comes with two different colors. Again, two is better than one, so two nail polishes instead of one is a great deal. And then I also bought a bunch of the Essie Nail Strips. I am not sure if I'm going to keep all these or use them as Christmas gifts. I'm not sure yet. But I did buy a ton of them because I first read, you know, when you're first pregnant, you're kind of going online, you're reading a lot of things like what should you do, what should you not do. And one of the things that I saw was nail polish can be toxic <laughs> for the growing baby. And so, you know, it kind of freaked me out. I'm like, oh no, but I, I like to wear nail polish. And so I thought, well, I could wear nail strips instead of nail polish. So I didn't use the toxic nail polish. But now I've learned that the internet will tell you that everything is toxic to the growing baby, which is really frustrating and a whole different 
subject altogether. But uh, so I kind of, I mean, during my first trimester when the baby is actually growing its organs and that sort of thing, I, ooh, that fire got really big. Did you see that for a second? That made me nervous. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I stayed away from hair dye, I stayed away from nail polish, I stayed away um, from a lot of things. I didn't wear makeup most days just because, you know, those things can be toxic. So during the first trimester, I was really careful about what I put on myself that could be absorbed into my bloodstream. Uh, but now that I'm in the second trimester, I'm like, eh, it's fine, it's it's fine. So I dye my hair, I painted my nails. What are you going to do? <laughs> you just do the best you can and hope for the best, pretty much. So, but I do have a bunch of these nail strips. This is Shoot for the Moon. This one is Show Me Your Stuff. This is Don't Cheetah on Me. <laughs> Such a funny name, but really cute. This is Steal the Show, and this is Small Pleasures. So those are the SE strips that I bought, and then I also got a couple of these Sally Hansen Salon Effects. This is number 310 Wild Child, and this is 500 Cat Call. And I think I finished this video just in time because, as you can probably tell, the sun has set and it is super, super dark in here, but it's all romantic with the candlelight. <laughs> but that is all I have for this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.